Hi there folks and welcome to Get Strumming, live from the heart of West Yorkshire in Kirkburton. So, what's the uh, reason for setting up this channel? Well, basically, um, as uh, it's very difficult to uh, ignore the fact that uh, we're in a little bit of a state of panic at the moment and uh, I know a lot of the groups, musical groups, around the region and around the country, around the world even, uh, I've had to uh, obviously knock things on the head, including um, my ukulele group and choir, unfortunately, but um, that's the way it is, I'm afraid. So I do realise that a lot of people uh, are going to be missing out uh, within the next uh, few weeks uh, on their musical fix. So I thought, well, to hell with it. I'm gonna um, set this channel up in order to provide people with the means of learning uh, new uh, songs on the guitar and the ukulele. Um, I'm gonna invite requests, song requests, and if people want uh, me to teach them how to play a particular song, then I'm more than happy to uh, facilitate that. Um, so, uh, first of all, for those guitar players out there, I, uh, I thought a good place to start would be um, the James Bond theme. Now, well, I think we're all familiar with the James Bond theme. There we go. So that's the uh, opening uh, bars to the Bond theme, which was uh, written in 1962 by Monty Norman and arranged by uh, John Barry. Um, so yeah, so the great thing with the Bond theme is you can make it as uh, as complex or as easy as you want. Um, you can also use two or three uh, different guitars as well. Um, basically, um, it's in an E minor key, so here we go, here's the E minor. I'm going to try and point the uh, guitar towards the camera so you know exactly what I'm doing here. So we've got E minor. I tend to play an E minor with my second and third finger, my middle finger and ring finger. And the reason being I play it like that and not with my first and second finger, like a lot of people do, is because I want to be able to use my index and pinky finger. Because what I'm going to do is this. the opening uh, opening mysterious and malevolent bars of James Bond. How am I doing that? Well, I'm constantly uh, got my second and third fingers on the E minor and then I'm using my first finger on the second string. Bear in mind your top string is the thinnest, that's the first string. Bottom string, sixth string, is the thickest. So I'm using my first finger on the first fret and then I'm using my fourth finger on the second string on the second fret, like this. And I'm kind of doing two strums on the E minor and then two strums with my first finger on the second string first fret and then two strums with my fourth finger on the second fret second string. James Bond. Yes. Now what you could do is if you've got two guitar players, one guitar player can keep playing that motif all the way through the main riff. The guitar player playing that gets the easy job. Now, the lead part is the bit that we're all familiar with. So what I'm going to do now is obviously uh, slow this down, because whenever you're learning something new, never try playing it at the uh, full speed, 
because you'll just end up getting tangled in knots. Um, always slow everything down. In fact, if you go on YouTube and you ever want to learn something um, by listening to a particular piece of music, there are three dots, vertical dots, um, above whichever video you're watching. Press on those and there's a playback setting. And if you press playback setting, you can actually slow down the video to suit the speed that you want to actually um, learn the song at. So, um, to s the actual speed of the bomb theme goes... So I'm going to slow that down. So, how do we play that little riff? Well, basically we're starting off on the bottom string, the sixth string. And I'm using a plectrum here. Now, the way in which I'm actually strumming is quite often you'd normally play uh, your guitar over the sound hook. But we're wanting a really twangy kind of sound now. Um, so it sounds almost like the electric guitar on the actual song. So I tend to rest my wrist on the bridge here, if you can see that. So I'm, I'm kind of um, using the plectrum to strum over the strings at the sort of base of the guitar. So you get this kind of uh, trebly, as opposed to a more richer sound over the sound hole. So on acoustic guitar, that's what I'd recommend. Rest your thumb, rest your, the palm of your hand on the bridge. You get a real twangy sound. So, how do we play this? So what I'm doing is, I'm uh, starting with a, a down pluck with the sharp edge of my plectrum. And then that's the open uh, sixth string. And then I'm using my second finger on the second fret on the uh, bottom string. So open string. And then I'm using a down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 uh, on the second fret. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. I'll try that again. Down, down, up, down. Throughout all that, you just play the bottom string with your um, second finger on the uh, second fret. So I'll do it again. I'm trying my best to get this in, in the camera shot. And I'll do it over the sound hole here. So that's the first bit. The second bit goes like this, and we're basically playing the bottom strings again in the same manner as the first time, but now we're using the third finger on the third fret. So it's open. So the strumming technique you want to use here, again, just watch how I've got my plectrum. So I've got the real sharp edge of the plectrum here. So open sixth string down up down down and, and then we've got uh the second finger on the second fret so everything at the moment is taking place on the open string second fret on the bottom open string bottom string and the third finger on the third fret so i'll just show you again this is important I get the um, get the bottom of the guitar in so here we go So 
that's the first part of that particular riff. So we, I'll do it once more because it's important just to keep going over it. So my fingers, second finger, second fret, open, second fret, open, third fret, and then second fret, open, second fret. on the third fret and what I'm doing now is going down with my third finger and second finger and first finger on the bottom three frets here so so once we've done that we've now taken a leap onto the fourth string first fret so there we go, there's the first finger on the D string, the first fret. There we go. So that's uh, the first finger on first fret, fourth string, and then open fourth string. Bam, bam. Then second finger on the fifth string, second fret, and then open fifth uh, string and second finger back on the second fret. So that bit there, I'll just go through that again. So what I'll do now is play all together. And I'm just gonna shift my chair. It's all very makeshift this, isn't it? Right, okay. So, I'll try and get it all in focus. Here we go. So that's the whole uh, opening motif, and you play it twice, so it should go something like this. in its entirety. What happens then is there's a little musical gap where your other guitar player who's doing this remember the E minor and using your first and fourth finger I'll just show you that again so that's normal E minor chord and then first finger on the first fret second string two strums and then two strums on the with your fourth finger on the second fret on the second string and then back to first finger on the first fret second string and you do that motif twice and again This is where the uh, exciting uh, kind of fanfare comes in. So I'll show you how to play this. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, so. So what we're doing here is 
I tend to use, start off with my second finger on the second fret, fourth string, and you're playing uh, an E there. Then I'm playing an open third string, open third string, sorry. I'm now moving my third finger on the second string, fourth fret, and going down to the third fret, second string. So I'll just play that slowly. That's that bit, and then it's open G, and then you uh, place your second finger on the third fret, third string, and then go up with your third finger, third string, fourth fret. So I'll just play it slowly again so you get to see it. Now the next bit, we are using what's called a uh, hammer on, hammer off kind of technique. It's a little musical twiddle. So what you've got here is... I'll show you how to do that because it's, it's easier doing it than uh, actually showing you. You're plucking the third string, the G, and you're doing a hammer on, hammer off with your first finger on the uh, second fret, third string. So watch that. Off on, off. Off on, off. It takes a little bit of practice to get that. Really quick. So once you've done that, I use my third finger on the fourth string, fourth fret. So. Then what I'm doing is uh, playing the fifth string, second fret, fourth string, second fret, with my first finger. I might as well just bar them both together like that like there and then I'm using my third finger on the fifth string fourth fret so I'll just play all that together so that's that section and then we repeat it but just with a slight difference so it's This time we're going to second finger, second fret, fifth string, first finger, fourth string, first fret, second finger, second fret, fourth string. I'm going to play all that very slowly now. So here we go. does the same thing again so you play that whole section twice so there we go the next bit is the This is another um, little trick where you can play harmony notes and it's always useful if you've got two guitars for this. So I'll just show you uh, this little um, motif now. Mm -hmm. 
So what we, I'll just show you quickly and then I'll show you slowly. So there you go. So I'll show you how to play that now in a slowed down manner. So we've got open, uh, the open E, top string. So there's three strums on that. Then I'm using my first finger on the second fret, top string, and I'm sort of playing once and then off and then on again. Then I'm going up to the third fret on the top string and I'm alternating between uh, the third and second fret. So, and then second fret, uh, first finger, and then open, and then back on again. So I'll just play that very slowly. And then what we do then is slide straight up to the seventh fret, top string, and do two strums. And I'm, the way I'm playing it here on the, the, uh, the strumming is down up. And then I'm using my third finger on the fourth string on the ninth fret. So you're doing a and then do it again. And then it's And the way I try and do that, I do it differently every time to be honest. So, um, down, up, down, up, down. I think. It's really quick that bit. So I'll show you that again from the uh, the top. So there you go. Now there's another thing you can do here, and that is to have um, like an accompanying harmony uh, part on the guitar. So, and that goes like this. And you might think that sounds a bit weird, uh, but I'll just show you what it sounds like with the top bit. <laughs> see how the harmony works there so I'll just show you this so as the other guitar players doing the the other guitar players doing this open B string so you're doing three strums down up down down up and then uh, first finger on the second fret, second string. And then, you, so it's second finger, first finger, second string, second fret, off again, and back on. Completely wrong. 
And it's... There we go. Sorry. My mistake. Can't take two though. No takes. All in one. That's what you get you see when you're live. Making mistakes all the time. Right. I'll start that again. It's basically first finger, second fret. So I'm going up to the fourth fret, second string, like this. And I'm going alternating between the fourth fret and the second fret. And then I'm sliding one fret up to the um, fifth fret, second string, second string. So down, up, down on the second string, fifth fret. And then fourth, fourth uh, fret, second string. And I'm alternating there on my third and first fingers between fourth and second fret. So I'll just show you that close up. So I'm starting on the second fret. Just do that again very slowly. And what I'm doing there is the same jump, only if the first time round we did it. So I'm doing a jump here uh, with my first finger on the second string. 5th fret, and then jumping up to the 4th uh, string, 9th uh, fret. Da -da 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 -da. So we, we're basically doing that same riff again. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. So it should sound like this together, if you have two guitars, which I don't. Uh, and then we go back into the and that just occurs once this time round And then we go straight back into the riff that we start off with at the beginning. So it's... And then that just happens once this time. I know at the beginning of the song we went through it twice, but that only happens once now. So this is the real fun bit. This is the big uh, climax to the whole song. Jing, and I'll show you what the jing is at the end. That's um, a very James Bond-esque type of chord. So anyway, this, this sort of big build-up fanfare at the end, how do we play that? Well, the first bit is actually similar to the bit that we played a bit earlier. So again, what I'm doing here is uh, second finger, second fret, fourth string, and then open G, open third string. Then I'm going to use my third finger on the fourth fret, second string, second finger on the second string, third fret, Next, the next build up in the sequence is open third string and open second string. And then I'm using my th uh, second finger on the second fret first string. And then dropping down with my first finger 
on the first fret, first string. So that's the second build up, the third one, there are four in total. The third one goes. So I'm using my second and first finger, uh, second finger on the fourth fret, third string. Then first finger on the second string, third fret. And then I'm jumping right up to the sixth fret with my third finger and then going down to the, uh, this is the top string and then I'm going down to the fifth fret top string with my second finger and then the final build up to the sequence is so open E then first finger on third fret top E and then we're going right up to the 11th fret and I'm using my third finger and then dropping down to the uh, 10th fret again top string now I'll put all that together and if it makes any sense then it'll be a miracle no it won't honestly I do know what I'm doing, seriously. So it goes like this. And then, ching, James Bond chord, I'll come to that in a minute. So, I'll do, I'll play that again, sort of at uh, normal speed, if I can. Next is the quintessential James Bond chord. And what's that? Well, I'll show you now. And that sound good. Ideally, there should be a little bit of tremolo on the end of that. So what I'll do when I'm playing acoustic is give it a good shake. What chord is that? Well, uh, as far as I know, it is an E minor 9 with a D sharp added. That's good enough for me, and I'm sure it'll be good enough for you. How do you play it? Right, well what you do is, it's a bit of a stretch this, uh, so um, you might want to rest your fingers after you've played this one. First finger on the top string, second fret, like thus. Um, then we've got second finger on the uh, third string, fourth fret, like thus, and then third finger on the fourth fret, second string, just like that, like there, and then this is the bit where you really stretch in. Uh, you've got your fourth finger on the fourth string, fifth fret. So that's your James Bond chord. I just love it. Right, okay, uh, so what I'll do now is try and piece it all together and see how it sounds. It will probably be a complete cock up, but what the hell? So's the world. Everything's, everything's cocked up now. Right, so we start off with the riff. If you want another, um, if you want another guitar player, this is a good thing as well. As I said before, you can have two guitar players and decide who wants to play what. So here we go. Okay. 
next bit fanfare. Something like that, anyway. Have a bit of fun with it. I know um, these days um, a lot of people are going to be uh, obviously housebound um, and it might be a bit of a loose end. I know one or two people have said to me, we're going to be stuck, we don't know what to do, we want to play as music. Well, there's nothing stopping you from picking up your guitar or your ukulele. Uh, I'm going to be taking song requests. I'm going to be taking, more importantly, uh, song requests for people to learn. Um, obviously, I'm doing this for free, but um, if anybody could donate anything, just a couple of quid, if they want a song learn or want a song request, uh, you can go to paypal.me forward slash get strumming. Um, but obviously, the main important thing is just to keep people's spirits up and uh, keep music alive and keep, you know, keep uh, keep the home fires burning. No, um, just, you know, I want to make sure that people uh, are happy and content with um, playing their instruments, playing the guitars, ukuleles, and together we'll get through the mire and uh, hopefully come out the other end intact. So, um, as I say, uh, I'm going to be doing another um, tutorial most days usually about 6.45 because I know it's just after people have eaten and before people go to bed. So I'd just like to thank you and I'm going to read some of the comments in a minute but I hope that's been of use. This is my first tutorial so if it's been a bit of a cock up then I do apologise and hopefully I'm going to get better as time goes along. It's been a pleasure and all the best to you. Thank you. <laughs>